Slap on those party hats because you know what time it is. It's time for Say It With Me, Paul. Let's get social. It's my favorite part of every week. All right, let's start with a couple viewers who live tweeted the show last week. We appreciate you and we see each other. I just want you to know. All right, Aster Mead says, oh yeah, it's almost that time, girl, that crazy little meeting that we have every Sunday. It's about to go down. Thank you, Aster. I feel like we're such good friends. And then to a new viewer at Elaine Fluker, she says that she just caught a late night episode. She's happy to learn about the show. She's now following. All right, thank you, Elaine. We so appreciate you watching. Keep the tweets coming and follow us at ATL Tech Edge to be featured. All right, were you on AIM in its heyday? It's AOL Instant Messenger. Now, we've been having the debate. Did you call it IM? Did you call it AIM? Did you call it AIM? I called it IM. Producers call it AIM, AIM, so bear with us. But they called it quits last year, citing a cultural shift. But now, the service is rising from the ashes in the form of an AIM Phoenix or AIM or IM. You'll have to get new credentials this time around, but nine different themes await you on AIM Lite. What was your username in its prime? Our producers, at MeowMix689. And she doesn't want it back, so it's up for grabs. <laughs> All right, more nostalgia coming your way. Look at that. Planners just announced cheese balls are back on the market. Did they ever go away? <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. I always seem to be eating something artificially orange. Anyway, the beloved snack will hit the shelves for a limited time this month. Bring on that cheesy goodness in a tin. It's not really a tin. It's really cardboard, but it looks like a tin, <laughs> right? Dunkaroos, we're waiting on you next. That's right. Go get yourself some cheese balls. And finally, consider yourself a carry. Well, the Sex in the City favorite was known for her high fashion and taste for the finer things. Well, a new article, love this article, looks at her spending budget. So from her Manolo Blahnik to all those Cosmos with the girls in those New York City bars, they discovered that Carrie is $1 million in debt. What? No, not Carrie. She was getting paid big mucks, big bucks for those stories. All right, you can't blame the girl. That's right. Oh, let's listen to it. Yeah. As R&B duo Callaway put it, I want, I want to be rich. I want to be rich. Live the high life this week, techies. Enjoy America's birthday. Happy July 4th.